All right, welcome back to Mike's Garage. This time we're going to review the technical service manual that you can get online. So I'm going to do a screen capture and show you my bike and what uh, information is available on there so that uh, you can decide to pay for this service or not. So stay tuned and here we go. Okay, once you're into the system and you've pay paid for the subscription, entered your VIN number, all the information on your bike shows up and the service manual shows up with amongst, amongst other things. So under the service manual tab, you can see you have the service manual, Rally Explorer, version, and the date published, along with the circuit diagrams uh, for the bike. You can go to the service tool tab, and you can see your service tools, and if you open this up, it tells you all the tools uh, that Triumph says you need to do various servicing activities. You can go to servicing and you can see um, the different service data sheets that are available uh, and the date at which they were available. There's a motorcycle preparation guide, uh, but uh, nothing available there. The technical bulletins, so these are all the technical bulletins to the dealer uh, regarding your bike. Then the service bulletins, and these are interesting because these are the service, service bulletins at which uh, you go to the dealer and get things, I guess, repaired or fixed or done. And you can see that in, under my bike, the clutch hydraulic system bleed 604, service bulletin 604, and service bulletin 598 have been applied and are complete. Um, then there's the owner literature, which are these are the owner manuals and things like that that you got when you purchased the bike. There's a periodic te technical inspection and there's the documentation for that and then miscellaneous and it's the motorcycle care guide so there's what you get when you purchase uh, the subscription under your vehicle you get kind of what the dealer sees so that's interesting it also tells you important documents and things and actions that are required under my bike there's currently no documents and that's what we have there's also a service history here um, and these tell you all the service histories at which you've done and where you've done them. So again, interesting information. Maybe it's worth the $8.50 or whatnot to subscribe to this. Um, it's a revolving charge monthly, so maybe you want to see it for a while, maybe you don't. Um, but there you go. Okay, continuing on with more detail about the service manual and what you get for this subscription through Triumph. So let's uh, open up the uh, service manual for the Tiger 1200 Rally Explorer. Okay, here's what's in here. Um, introduction, general information, service tools, specifications, torque wrench settings, routings, those kind of things. Uh, and you can see it goes all the way down to electrical and diagnostics. Um, we tend to be interested in torque settings. And so here are the torque settings for various uh, parts of the bike. Uh, one that seems to come up often are the wheels. So here are the torque setting for the various components of the wheels. It's in metric system. If you want standard, it's uh, foot-pounds. There is a converter up sure out there that will convert nanometers to foot-pounds for you, so you can look that up. Um, final drive, There's a couple there, and uh, Looks like some engine mountings and some other things too. So there's a lot here. Uh, you can come look for it if you set up a subscription. Um, there's other things like specifications, uh, lubrication specifications, things like that. So it'd be interesting in um, how much oil it takes and those kind of things uh, one could be interested in if you're doing your own maintenance. Um, 